Okay, today we'll be opening up and comparing these two Fram oil filters. This Made in USA Fram oil filter, number PH2, that I got at Walmart for $4.19. And we're going to compare it to this Made in South Africa Fram oil filter, number PH2, which I got from a very generous viewer who goes by Tassie Lorenzo, who lives all the way over in Australia. Yep, Adelaide, Australia. Thanks, Tassie. This should make for a very interesting comparison. And these two oil filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the Made in USA frame filter. And we'll check the box. 10,000 mile protection. Look over here. You got a micron rating of particles greater than 20 microns and if you check their website that's at 95 percent and that's pretty much all the important information on the on this box so let's uh open up see what it looks like and we got a date code here a42 it's kind of hard to read 991 look over here made in usa it's got this sure grip on here and this filter has eight inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below at the dome end, four grooves there for threads, and nitro rubber gasket. Okay, now let's look at the South African made filter. So there's really nothing on this box except for right here. It just says manufactured in South Africa. Let me bring that up a little closer. All right, let's take a look at this filter. Yeah, this filter is black. And I don't know if this is a date code or not. 1803S3. Could be. We got the filter number here. And they got some instructions here somewhere. Right here. Oh, that's not, that's not in English though. This is. Okay. And this filter... No day code on here either. I couldn't find any day, day code except for, like I said, just that right there. This has eight inlet holes. And this has louvers. This has a metal core with louvers. Bypass valve at the dome end. And nitro rubber gasket. So let's compare them. See, it sticks out. Looks like it sticks out a little more than the, than the USA one. Let's weigh these two filters. Okay. USA filter, 318.4 grams. South African filter, 433.3 grams. All right, both about the same size. So let's, um, you know, this one actually doesn't have the flutes either on it, whereas this, this one does. Base plates are a little different. So let's open these two filters up and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, so here they are both opened up. And these are the gaskets. I'll put the thickness of the gaskets up on the screen. The Made in Africa filter is just a little bit thicker. But both look like nice gaskets. Okay. Silicone. Got silicone for the Made in USA and nitro rubber for the South African filter. Let's see how they fit over the holes. It covers up the holes nice. And South African filter, that covers the holes nice too. That's fine. Got the base plates here. Now the holes are about the same size and same amount of grooves, four grooves there for threads. I'd give these guys a tie. Okay, filter element. This is the main USA filter. Put that to the side. Okay, we got a glued seam here. If I can find it. It's right here. 
There's a glued seam. Kind of a big space there. Got the engineered engineered uh, caps. Engineered fiber ca end caps. And this filter has 36 pleats. It's a cellulose synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 95% for particles greater than 20 microns. Yeah, they could have put a few more pleats in, in this filter right here. Okay. And so we got the made in Africa filter. We got a glued seam here somewhere. Right here is a glued seam. Actually, it's like a crimp seam. See, it's crimped there. You see that? Also, kind of a large gap here. Metal end caps. Bypass valve right here, which I don't have any settings for this filter, what it's made out of. Um, micron rating, I couldn't find anything. You can check their website, I'll show you the website in a second. But um, this filter has 59 pleats, so it has 23 more pleats than the Made in USA filter. Okay, and look inside the filter itself. Okay, it's got a Made in Africa has a coil spring, pretty stiff spring. And Made in USA has this kind of bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 12 PSI. It's like some oily, oily stuff on there. Okay. And the cans. So I'll put all the information up on, on the screen about the cans, the thickness, the width, the flutes. You know, this made in South Africa filter doesn't have any flutes. These are flutes here, but they're, with the coating on them, they're kind of like, they don't really stick out very, very much. I don't know if they're one of those kind of wrenches would work good on there. And you got a little overspray in here. They have a website on here. Uh, where is it? Right here. Website. You can see it right there. Fram.co.za. But I looked it up, but I couldn't find any information about this filter on there. So let's get the width of these filters. I'm going to take this one this way. Okay. 2.95 for the Made in USA filter. I'll go like this this way. 2.93 minus a tenth of an inch for the metal end caps. Minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, so I would say definitely this made in Africa filter right here has a lot more pleats. It's a lot more pleats, so it has probably a lot more media. Darker media too. Alright, let's um let's open these two filters up, see what they look like under a microscope. Be right back. Okay, so here are both filters cut open. And the Made in USA filter is, they look over here, 48 inches long. And the Made in South Africa filter is 99 and a half inches long. The South African filter goes way over my table. Okay, so let's get the thickness of this filter media. Main USA filter is 0.88 millimeters thick. South African filter is 0.68 millimeters thick. So quite a bit thinner. You 
is the front side, filtering side, back side. And if we take a look at these filters under a microscope, you're going to see that the USA filter would probably do a better job of filtering because there's a lot of little light spots you can see in this uh, South African filter. So let's take a look at that picture. So looking at the microscope picture, I would say the, the USA filter would do a better job of filtering. But you get twice as much filter media with the South African filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So we went over these components already, the gaskets, anti-drain bag valves, bypass valve. Um, and I prefer this kind of bypass valve right here. I think it seals a lot better. And uh, this one's got lures though. So let's take a look at the lures. Make sure they're opened up. Yeah, you can see those are opened up. Those are opened up fine. I don't think I've ever seen a bigger difference between two filters that are supposed to be the same size made by the same company. There's a lot of differences here. The end caps, holes versus louvers, any drain bag valves are different. You got silicone, nitro rubber, the bypass valves are different, the cans are different. <laughs> so I think if you want better flow, you'd probably go with the South African filter. And if you want a better filtration, you'd go with the USA made filter. What do you guys think? And again, I want to thank Tassi Lorenzo for sending me this South African Fram filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The USA filter media weighs 19.1 gram. The made in South Africa filter media weighs 20.5 grams.